fellow YouTube and YouTube subscribers. Um, today we're going to be doing a species profile. Well, in better description, a fake species profile. Since the stuff we are discussing really is in the species. I'm going to dub the artificial plant as Artificialis polymorphus. And that name basically translates them being artificial and having many, many forms. Now, what you see here, these are a bunch of old plastic plants that I actually gave away to my dad. But I'm just, I just brought some out for display. And I personally don't use artificial plants anymore. But um, to newcomers, they can be very beneficial. And un in other certain circumstances, they can also be very useful. Um, one thing you want to look for is the quality of these plants. Uh, some of them just look don't look very real. Like this one right here. Especially, it doesn't really look like any particular plant that I know of. Well, uh, stuff like the jungle valve, fake jungle valve, tends to look pretty good. Especially when it's in the background of your tank. That's the easiest way to hide the basically the aesthetics of artificial plants. And that's when they look more convincing, is when they're in the background. Um, another thing you want to look at is, um, and for me, a plastic. Try to make sure it's not really hard plastic. Because the ones that have really hard plastic on them, like these ones, which are fairly soft, uh, they tend to scrape. And in some cases, they can actually even cut your fish when your fish uh, swim by them. So that's one thing to look for. Kind of look for a bit of a softer plastic over a really hard one. Or just avoid the plants that have really pointy edges to them. Especially if you have like long fin fish like betas and angel fishes. Or uh, basically softer skin fishes like some of the catfishes. They'll get cuts and scrapes just by brushing against plants. And since these plants are fakes, they really don't have water requirement as they do fine even without the water that, that your fish require, but um, I have heard that salt water can actually deteriorate plastic plants. Can deteriorate plastic plants, so I'm not 100% sure if that's entirely true, but I've heard about that happening. And another thing to keep in mind is, obviously, they don't have like temperature requirements or hardness requirements, which means you can basically keep plastic plants with a huge variety of fish. In including fish that will eat plants will not uh, try to uh, eat your uh, plastic plants but there are some exceptions that also like for example some cichlids like uh, red devils that just love to destroy plants they'll destroy your plastic plants also they'll dig them up also just because that's how they are now um, an alternative to plastic plants are silk plants which I really don't have any anymore but uh, one of the big issues I have with silk plants is uh, they deteriorate uh, much quicker than plastic plants which are basically immortal right like this thing here is probably 10 maybe in 15 years old it's perfectly fine and if i just washed it off a bit it would look brand new but silk plants what happens is the silk kind of breaks down and it comes kind of thready and it just it just um makes them look bad in fact i think fake silk plants generally look far worse than uh fake plastic plants in my opinion um another concern another concern i have with plastic plants is um Unlike real plants, they, they tend to attract algae a lot more and they tend to hold on to debris, especially ones like uh, this fake hornworth or the fake, uh, I guess this is fake kabamba. Uh, dirt and stuff tends to just get trapped on them much more often, so you gotta actually remove them from the tank, you gotta like rinse them off and stuff like that. Which is something you don't tend to have to do with real plants simply because uh, I guess it's. I guess because their surfaces have uh, natural coatings on that that prevent stuff from attaching to them too heavily. And another thing is these things are often basically a magnet for alga. Like if you look at these uh, plastic plants here, you can see they're kind of stained slightly. Like they're just, they got a slight brown stain on them. That's just from accumulated brown alga that grew on these plants for an extended period of time. Now, I personally don't use plastic plants anymore, but I would recommend them, especially if you can't get live plants, just because having the plastic plants in there it can kind of create this more natural environment even though the, you know they're fake for your fish that'll help help them uh, basically uh, feel more comfortable especially since the plastic plants do like these these provide great cover in my opinion um, like if you're spawning certain fish these make great spawning sites for fish and just because of the fact that you can get a large amount of plastic plants for cheap, you can use them to quickly fill in the background of your tank or basically just to fill in the tank's uh, aquascape. So um, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I want to try to do a proper species profile eventually, but I got some stuff I got to work with, like solving out a practicum and all that. So peace out.